Hi there. My name is Mr. Tim. I'm a librarian from High Plains Library District, and welcome to another online story time. Today, we are going to be telling the story of Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox. This is an old story that African slaves used to tell hundreds of years ago, and it actually came from the continent of Africa. Many of the slaves, when they were brought to the United States, brought the story of Br'er Rabbit over with them. Br'er is a word that means brother. It's an abbreviation for brother. So we have brother rabbit, brother bear, brother fox. We have lots of different brers in this story. Now there have been lots of different interpretations of this story. Some have been considered good, some have been considered a little bit racist or problematic in other ways. The stories we're going to be learning about today are stories that have been taken from African American people and from the tradition of the African slaves. So with that in mind, I hope that you all enjoy this story of Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox and all the different Br'ers in the forest. And without further ado, come gather around and listen to my tale of Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox and how they both failed. One day all the animals of the woods were working together as hard as they could. They wanted a garden chocked full of greens, and working together they had the means. The animals started at the break of day, and Br'er Rabbit grabbed a rake and started clearing the way. But this was the hardest work the animals had done, and they were all sweating underneath the sun. Br'er Rabbit was tired, he had built up a thirst, but in this forest a lazy animal is treated the worst. So he thought of a scheme and he thought of it fast. Br'er Rabbit thought, without a nap, I never will last. Br'er Rabbit let out a yelp, and Br'er Bear and Br'er Goose ran over to help. I got me a briar in my hand, but I'll keep on working on clearing the land. But the animals insisted he take a break, because, quote, you don't want an infection, for goodness sake. So Br'er Rabbit began searching for some shade, to take a nap and laugh at the lie he had made. Br'er Rabbit was thirsty, he needed a drink. But Br'er Fox noticed the rabbit, and he began to think. How did Br'er Rabbit get a briar in his hand? He lives in that thicket. It's basically his land. So Br'er Fox snuck away and followed Br'er Rabbit. For both of the Br'ers, avoiding work was a habit. Br'er Rabbit looked down the well. That's a long way down if ever I fell. And with that he drank the bucket dry, and the dark cool well had caught his eye. With the sun shining down so bright, a well may be the only way to escape the light. Br'er Rabbit got in the bucket, but due to his weight, it started to plummet. With a jolt and a splash, he was down in a flash. Br'er Rabbit was stuck in the well. Br'er Fox waited and watched. He didn't realize Br'er Rabbit's nap was botched. Why would Br'er Rabbit go down in that hole? Unless he is hiding a hoard of shining gold. With that silly thought, Br'er Fox crept to the edge. What are you doing? He shouted over the ledge. Br'er Rabbit perked up and saw an escape. Why, I'm fishing down here. There's more fish than the lake. I thought I'd surprise everyone with a heap of fresh fish. Br'er Fox began to drool. That sounded absolutely delish. Why don't you help me carry them out? And with that, the Br'er Fox let out a shout. Br'er Fox hopped in the bucket that was now empty, and Br'er Rabbit held on. Br'er Fox was quite hefty. Br'er Fox fell down, and Br'er Rabbit shot up. Their eyes met, and Br'er Fox looked as scared as a pup. Goodbye, Br'er Fox. And as the saying goes, some folks go up, some go down. You should make it to the bottom safe and sound. And Br'er Rabbit smiled and wiggled his nose. Now he ran back to the other critters to share the news that Br'er Fox was in the well taking a snooze. 
Br'er Rabbit returned to poor Br'er Fox. A hunter is coming and you'll give him quite a shock. You'd best run fast as you can, for we all know what hunters do to a fox in hand. Br'er Rabbit danced and laughed his way back to the garden. Br'er Fox got himself ready to escape the game warden. The parched hunter hauled up the bucket, and a wet Br'er Fox scrambled away from the hunter's mean musket. So, an hour later, Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox were working together again, clearing the field without making amends. But every few minutes, the two would look up, and they would remember the well and begin to crack up. And once they had started, they just couldn't stop as they remembered their faces as the bucket would drop. So they continued to work, trying to fight a smirk, and maybe they made a new friend. Thank you all so much for joining me for this story, and thank you to my dad, Don Ruth, for doing the art for this awesome story time. I hope that you all enjoyed it and that you learned a little bit about Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox and how using your mind can help you get around some issues sometimes. So, once again, thank you all so much. I am excited to be doing another one of these videos with all of you. I will see you all very soon in the next one. Goodbye, friends.